Today, I have a service call. The client asked me to run a new circuit into the garage for two outlet and also add lighting above the workbench. I will be running this job with 12 slash 2 MC cable and protecting the circuit with a 20 amp breaker. We always use an anti-short bushing together with a standard combination clamp connectors, so the metal sheath of the MC cable doesn't damage the insulation. To measure the cable length first, so there is a no surprise letter on the conductors. Here I slightly damage the insulation, but for cases like this, I always keep heat shrink tubing ready. We slid on the heat shrink tubing. Heat is with the light and is done. Stripping the insulation, cutting off the excess and installing the breaker. Temporarily securing the cable. Then we torque it down with the torque screwdriver to make sure it's set correctly. Taking apart the old wiring, it was hooked up wrong. Looks like a handyman had been here before. Handyman always seems to follow me around. Stripping back the cable and setting the feeder cable in place. Always installing the grounding conductors. The junction box must always be rebonded to ground as required by the neck. I have already connected the GFCI outlet and the switch. In the garage, GFCI protection is always required by the neck. On the outlet, I always tighten the terminals with a flathead screwdriver. Finishing up with the last details, setting the outlet and switch back in the place nice and straight. From the junction box, we installed the clamp at least 6 inch way. Unboxing and installing the light fixture above the client workbench. Labeling each garage outlet and we were done. Not a work, but a dream.